And today we're going to look at a story called Angels at the Friary. Welcome friends. I am Edward Urban presenting our YouTube channel Following Padre Pio in which we investigate the absolutely incredible life of the mystic miracle worker and Capuchin monk Padre Pio whose intercession is still so powerful today. So if you or a friend or a loved one is in need of Padre Pio's help or intercession then do stay tuned to this channel. We present our videos regularly on a Tuesday, Thursday and a Saturday. If you are new to our channel, channel, then please do like, share and subscribe to this channel. The following story was told by Father Alessio and he says, May I tell you that in 1959 I was appointed the sacristan by the superior of the, confident of, of the convent of a Lady of Grace. So the sacristan is the one who looks after the little room where the priests put on their vestments just before Mass. And at that time, Padre Pio used to celebrate Holy Mass at 5 a.m. in the morning. People used to arrive from even earlier. And Holy Communion, he says, was not given out during the Mass, but only later, directly after the Mass. So Father Alessio continues, as soon as Padre Pio arrived back at the sac sacristy after Mass, then he went out to distribute Holy Communion. And he says there were many people in the church. And people were always in a hurry to be first to reach the communion rail in order to receive Holy Communion so that they could go out to the small church where Padre Pio, of course, was here in confession. So they all wanted to get into that queue early. And he says, one day so many people received Holy Communion that the great ciborium, that is the silver cup in which the communion hosts are kept, um, it quickly emptied. And he, said, he noticed, well, another priest continued to distribute Holy Communion. So he went up to the altar and began to cleanse the cup, as they always do. And he says, after removing the small particles, I poured some water in and I washed it well and then I dried it off. So the ciborium or cup was now completely clean. And he says he had just finished and when he was about to place the lid onto the cup, onto the ciborium, on my right side, he says, in the middle of the air, a consecrated host was falling into the ciborium. It's very strange. He was surprised and immediately turned his head to see what was happening, but there was no one there. He says the closest priest was still at the edge of the altar. And Father Alessio continues, I was a bit shocked and wanted to say something. And when the other brothers came back, I took the consecrated host and I put it into their ciborium. And this obviously was worrying him a bit. So later that day, he went to tell Padre Pio what he had seen. But another similar incident was already being told to Padre Pio by one of the other confreres, saying this, Father, our eyes are not so good that we can see the small particles of the holy body falling down as Holy Communion is given. And we can remember in those days when people received Holy Communion, they would be kneeling, it would be received on the tongue with a special plate, a pattern put underneath to catch any particles. But they were still worried about particles falling. So, Padre Pio replied, Well, what do you think the angels around the altar are doing? And that was some sort of a message given by Padre Pio. And Father, Father Alessio concludes, he understood it with, like this. With this ob observation, we understand that no matter how small the particles that falls, the angels are always ready to pick them up and to bring them back to the ciborium. So perhaps, perhaps that is what happened.